The weather has been so nice outside, so I'm gonna go on a walk right now. I love it when the weather gets warmer because then it means I can get out and take more walks. And since the weather is getting warmer, let's talk about some good summer recipes. So what I want to make today is popsicles because it's, it's summer, we want something cold and something sweet too, something that will help us stick to our goals. So I'm gonna share with you guys my five favorite popsicle recipes that are keto. got back from the walk. It was a good walk. I love walking this time of year. It really energizes me. Plus the good weather just helps motivate me to get out there and get moving. And I need to get out there and move more, mostly because summer is coming. We have like one and a half more months before summer officially starts. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Noom. Noom is a health program created by behavioral psychologists. It helps you make good habits so you could eat better, lose weight, and get healthier. It teaches us the why behind why we eat the way we do and what habits we have so we can make changes. It's not an extreme diet and no foods are off limits. I've actually been really enjoying it because it gives you these daily lessons and tools that you need to learn about nutrition and progress and mindset issues that you can troubleshoot. I feel like I've been getting a lot out of it and it's been keeping myself accountable because every day I log in, I take those lessons and I track my water, can track my food, my exercise, all that jazz. So far I've lost four pounds with using the program. So I'm super excited because it's really just, it's starting to those habits within me, like those healthy habits, and it's helping me recognize my triggers of when I do fall apart. To get started, all you do is take a health survey to help customize your program, and you really only need to spend around five to 10 minutes a day on the program to see results. If you guys are interested in trying Noom, click on the link down below to take Noom's free evaluation and get started on your program today. Now let's get into our popsicle recipes. The first recipe we're gonna make is a keto lemonade popsicle. The keto lemonade egg popsicle is one of my favorites because it makes up a big batch. So you can make up 10 popsicles in just one batch of these. And they're super low calorie and low in carbs. There's 0.5 net carbs per popsicle. To make lemonade popsicles, you could either use fresh lemon juice. So squeeze out some freshly made lemon juice, or you could use the concentrate too, like the lemon concentrate that you find in the bottle. Either way, you're gonna need one cup of lemon juice. Next, you add four cups of water to that. For sweetness, we're gonna stir in some confectioner's powdered sweetener. So I'm using confectioner Swerve. You could use whatever brand you want to, just as long as it's the powdered, because if you use the granulated kind, it might not dissolve very well. So you might just have little chunks of sweetener in there. It might be kind of like sandpapery as you're licking your popsicle. A tip I have if you don't have the powdered form of sweetener, so you can take your granulated kind and then put it in a food processor or a blender, pulse it, and then that will get everything into to like little super fine particles. For the amount of sweetener, I recommend either using a half of a cup or three quarter cups. It just depends on your taste preference, the level of sweetness that you're at right now on your keto journey. And the next ingredient you're gonna need is two pinches of salt. Now you might think this is really weird. It's gonna make my lemonade taste salty. It doesn't, it's like, just use tiny pinches. This is not a pinch of salt when you grab it, like a huge handful of it. You just want like a little tiny pinch of salt. Do that in there twice. Salt is in there because salt works as a flavor enhancer. So it actually helps to enhance the sweetness. So you could actually get away with adding less sweetener than you would normally. You wanna whisk that all together and then you pour this into your popsicle molds. And I'll have the popsicle molds that I use for all of these recipes listed down below in the description box. Then we just freeze it overnight or until it's hardened and your popsicles are good to go. I usually store my popsicles in my popsicle mold, but you could actually take them out, put them in a Ziploc bag, store them in the freezer like that. They should keep for like a month or so without having any freezer burn. The macros are super good on these popsicles. For one popsicle, it is 10 calories, 0.2 grams of fat, 0.5 total carbs and 0.5 net carbs, and then 0.2 grams of protein. <laughs> 
The next keto popsicle I'm gonna show you how to make is an avocado popsicle. And I've talked about this one before on my channel on my 10 ways to use avocado on the keto diet. Click up here if you guys are interested and wanna watch that video. It has some fun, creative ways that you can use avocado. Now this recipe for the keto avocado popsicle isn't for everyone. It might sound disgusting to you. Um, I don't think that my kids are really that keen on them either, but I love them because mostly I love avocado and it has this like, it's a mildly sweet flavor too when you make this. Um, and it's, I think it's fabulous, super creamy and easy to make, and you can make it dairy free. The ingredients are simple. All you're gonna need is two avocados. You wanna peel, de-seed the avocados and place the flesh inside a food processor or blender. Then you're gonna add in half of a cup of nut milk. I'm using macadamia nut milk. If you didn't wanna make it dairy free, you could use heavy cream. You could use that in this recipe. And then for sweetness, I'm pouring in a third cup of sugar-free vanilla syrup. I'm using Chalk Zero. I'll have their information down below if you're interested in them but you could always substitute with two to three tablespoons of powdered erythritol or sweetener of choice, along with one teaspoon of vanilla if you didn't wanna invest in sugar-free vanilla syrup. We're gonna blend this together until it's pureed and then pour it inside your popsicle mold. You could either use a silicone mold or just a popsicle tray mold, whichever one you have will work. And depending on the size of your popsicle mold, this recipe makes around five avocado popsicles. And let's go over those macros. One avocado popsicle has 133 calories, 9.4 grams of fat, 19 total carbs, but remember avocados have lots of fiber in them. So we're gonna subtract out the fiber, making the net carbs 3.1 grams, and protein is 1.3 grams. So the macros are really good on these. I love them just because it's like you're using pretty much whole foods except for the sweetener, which you could omit if you wanted. Um, and then it's just, it's simple, like three ingredients, so easy. And it's dairy free. Up next, let's talk about some fudge bars. I love keto fudge bars. They are so good and my kids actually love this recipe. So it's something that I do make every single summer. This recipe starts with using six ounces of sugar-free chocolate. I'll have my favorite listed down below for you guys. You wanna just take chunks of this and, or you could use chips too if it's chocolate chips, put it in your blender, break it up if it's like a larger bar that you're using. Like if you decided to use like Baker's chocolate or a 90% um, chocolate bar and it's in a bar form, just put it in the blender or a food processor and give it a good pulse just to break it up into smaller chunks. This will make the e it easier for that chocolate to dissolve when you pour some hot liquid on it. Next in a small saucepan, we are gonna add in some nut milk. I'm using one and a half cups of macadamia nut milk, but you could use the nut milk of your choice, along with one cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of powdered sweetener, and two tablespoons of unsweetened 100% cocoa powder. Make sure you get the unsweetened kind because don't be fooled, there's versions out there that actually have sugar in them. So you're gonna bring this mixture to a light boil, then remove it from the stove top and pour it into the food processor or blender that has your chunked up chocolate and pour it on top of there. Next, we add in two teaspoons of vanilla and half a teaspoon of salt. Give it a good pulse just to mix everything up, get it all smooth and creamy. Pour it into your popsicle molds. Now, I should go over this tip, I haven't done it yet. When it comes to popsicle sticks, it's a good idea if you soak your popsicle sticks in water for at least like a half hour, or an hour or so. Um, having them soak in water, they'll help absorb some of that water to act as a weight so that when you insert your popsicle stick into the mold, it's not gonna pop back up or go in like weird, crazy directions. So that it will actually sink down in there and stay in your popsicle while it's freezing. After around 24 hours, your popsicles have hardened and they're ready to eat. Once again, just store these in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. They'll stay good for around a month or so. The macros on these fudge pops, for one fudge pop it is 162 calories, 16.2 grams of fat, 12 grams of total carb, 2.8 net carbs, and 0.7 grams of protein. Up 
Up next, we're gonna be making keto ice cream bars. These aren't really a popsicle, but it's in a popsicle shape, so I think it counts. I love these ice cream bars because they're super easy to make and they're creamy. Now to make these keto ice cream bars, we're gonna start with adding one pint of heavy cream to a large bowl along with a half of a cup of powdered sweetener. Once again, I'm using Swerve, but you could use whatever sweetener you want. And then for that vanilla flavor, you're gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then I like to take it a step further, and I got some vanilla cupcake flavoring drops from One on One Flavors, or O Flavors, and I'm adding in seven drops of that into this recipe. I'll have their information listed down below in the description box if you're interested, as well as a discount code. And then to help enhance that sweetness, we're gonna add in a pinch of salt. Stir that together and then pour it into your mold. I'm using a silicone mold here because I want them to look like actual ice cream bars. So this will make around five ice cream bars. You're gonna put it in the freezer, let it harden overnight, and then it's time to dip them in some melted chocolate. If your bars look like they're starting to melt in between or melt in the chocolate, just put them back in the freezer and then come back after 10 or 15 minutes and start over. Once your bars are covered with chocolate to let that chocolate set, usually they just kind of set on their own as they're sitting there, um, but you can put it back in the freezer to speed up that process too. Talking about macros, these bars are high in calories thanks to the heavy cream. So one bar is 616 calories. If you wanted to decrease that fat macro or um, decrease the calories, then just cut it with some nut milk. So maybe do like half a cup of nut milk or one cup of nut milk along with the rest heavy cream. The fat macro, it's 59.2 grams of fat per bar. Total carbs is 16.8 grams of total carbs. Net carbs is 2.8 grams of net carbs and protein is zero. And the next keto popsicle recipe is actually a variation of the keto ice cream bar. We're gonna be making keto mint chip ice cream bars. This recipe is so good. I love the ice cream part of this. So it's similar to the keto ice cream bar where we're gonna add in one pint of heavy cream. Once again, you could cut it with nut milk if you needed. And then add in a quarter cup of powdered sweetener. And for that peppermint flavor, I'm gonna be using one and a half teaspoons of peppermint extract. And then don't forget your pinch of salt to enhance that sweetness. Mix that together, pour it into your molds, freeze it overnight, and then when you come back, here comes the chocolate part. We're taking some sugar-free chocolate, melting it down, and drizzling it all over our keto mint ice cream bars. And just store these in a Ziploc baggie in the freezer just like the other ones. This will make around five popsicles if you use the silicone mold that I have linked down below. And the macros for these are gonna be the same as the ice cream bars because it's pretty much the same ingredient except for you're using peppermint extract instead of vanilla. There you have it, there are five keto popsicle recipes that I hope you guys make this summer when the weather is warmer. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite keto frozen treat is. Mm -hmm.